So my name's Marcus Gennati, I'm the lowest school deputy and the deputy principal in charge of student engagement. At Student Services the staff are very nice and if you have any problems they'll resolve it. We have having like friend issues and all that but Student Services have handled it really well and I really respect that. I've been to Student Services and but that was when I was sick and then they called my mum and I went home but it was all good because they were nice and kind. I love the support system, they have Student Services and great teachers and staff. Um, who you can talk to if you ever need to. Student engagement's um, a department within, within the high school setting that supports students transition to high school. As we know, high school is very different to primary school where if you're in a primary school setting, you connect a lot with your school principal sometimes or the deputy, but a lot with the classroom teacher. And we recognise that your child's going through adolescence, so they're going to go through puberty. There's a number of changes going to happen for them, and probably the biggest challenge that they're going to have in their life is coming to high school. They're going to go from a one-teacher model to having up to 13 different teachers in their school, um, but also navigating a whole different world within their life around social, emotional, behaviour challenges, finding out what they want to do for the rest of their life. And, and high school is a fantastic experience, but we understand that the difficulties of coming to high school and the difficulty of being, being a parent um, of an adolescent teenager so what the role of the student engagement team is, is to support through that transition. It supports by having a team approach of a year coordinator that supports the year seven students connecting in with the classroom teachers so they are someone you can connect into. Uh, we have a program coordinator and teacher engagement um, teachers within there that support your child having meetings, supporting alongside the classroom teachers, any difficulties they face on a day-to-day -day, um, basis, whether it's around attendance issues coming to school, um, other concerns around family or impacting them coming or peer conflict or other situations that make school really difficult. We come around as a wraparound support, very similar to your UCU year six teacher. That's the team that will come and we're that conduit and the connection to the school community and as well as you. So where you'd normally connect with that teacher, you come and connect with the team. There's a lot of structured support for students if they need it. We find that we predominantly support our students with mental health issues, students who might need help individually with behaviour, students who need help with emotional regulation, students who have things going on at home and need support. We put very structured programs in place. We are often a liaison between the classroom and uh, the rest of the school, so if a student is having issues, say, in maths, we can then help sort that out. We often run parent conferences where we have all the agencies and parents around a table and work out a plan to support students the best way that we can. Part of that team as well, we've got a hugely resourced team recognise the needs, so along with the year coordinators and the program coordinators and the teachers, we've got a school psychologist that's in four days a week, a school-based chaplain that's in two days a week, um, and two community health nurses that work over the course of the week, Aboriginal liaison officer, admin staff, a range of youth workers and external agencies that really come in to provide that wraparound support in what is a hard, a hard transition for kids um, and are supporting that classroom teacher and, and as a parent for that transition up to the high school. High school's such a rewarding time. They get to do areas of science. Science goes away from where primary school, you're watching lots of videos and all of a sudden you're doing experiments, you're using chemicals, you're having flames and that's something that when they come up on a wow day, that as a, as a school we run a number of transition days and wow day allows students to come up and see science, real science. Um, doing some dissections and hands-on based learning and kids really enjoy it. They get to experience things like hospitality and working in a five million dollar commercial kitchen where they get to explore a pathway and be on a future master chef or whatever they wanted to do. And then you walk down to our trade training centre where we've got a full automotive centre that allows students to engage and to be a future pathway in automotive, building construction, block laying. So we specialise in areas that allow kids ready to transition to work. Kids walk into our facilities and do general woodworks, metalworks, hospitality, cooking, computing, but they're in awe of the facilities and opportunities they get. Um, and that's what Wow Days really shows them. 
So the enrolment prep for year six students, you um, need to complete an enrolment package and drop that off into the administration staff, in administration team. You will have that um, enrolment accepted. At any point you want to meet with any of the admin staff or myself to discuss specific learning needs, behavioural needs, social emotional needs, I'd really encourage you to then in, have a conversation in relation meeting with myself. Um, we invite our learning support coordinator, student services team around to look what positive supports need to put in place. We connect in with the primary school to gain as much information about your child to support them in high school. We also go to high, uh, primary schools as a general intake and we gather information about all students, but if you think there's specific information we need to about, know about your child and connecting in, we do some additional transition days and, and gain that information to support your transition. Through our general intake, you're accepted through the enrolment and then invited to all our orientation days. And then that allows, once that enrolment forms in, it allows us to connect and communicate all the upcoming events, what the start of the year is going to look like, and that's where that real enrolment form is that key for us to communicate back and forth. Whether it's a decision of coming to Armadale next year or staying and looking at another school, we just need that enrolment form. You approach the office ladies, they're more than friendly, they'll take that, they'll ask you for the relevant information, and then we put that into the system. So that's really, it's a simplified process. We accept students from all areas coming in, in particular for our specialist programs, coming in and then having a look and then going from there. One of the, one of the biggest things for year seven parents is, it's, it's probably not the kids coming to school, they're, they're ready for high school, they're actually really keen. It's our parents that are really worried about coming to high school. So one of the things we do to minimise the anxieties of both mums, dads and grandparents coming to high school, we invite them up for parent nights um, and we do a range of different tours and we show them what our facilities look like. We talk around a lot of the anxieties from parents and one of the things during our tour, you'll come across that our students have designated areas during their duty time. So year sevens have a specific area, year eights have a year area, year nines, tens, elevens and twelves. There's the common area, so the oval and the uh, library is two safe areas where year seven to year twelve can come together recognising there's peers and others and, and friendships outside of school that they would like to connect with each other so we support them in those two areas. But on those tours we show where those areas are and the year seven areas um, one step to admin, one step to student engagement and from the feedback from parents they know that if there's a concern in the yard or any needing support in one step we say you can be within the main admin or student engagement where our staff are. We've got junior staff that are out there in those area in high vis vests to make sure our kids are safe and at any point they can approach a teacher if for whatever reason of concern in the yard. So feedback from parents was come bringing our students to high school in particularly year seven was what if something happens in the yard here. So our location of our safe area for year sevens, which is a nice secure, is one step they can be an admin or one step into student engagement and that puts a lot of anxieties um, away for our parents. Attendance. Um, and that's the role of student engagement as well. So all of a sudden you have an adolescent child that may not want to go to school. Um, attendance is a, a requirement for all students to come. You must maintain 90% or more. Being there's no classroom teacher directly connected as you did in primary school, our student services team, engagement team is the one that you connect to for attendance. So we really encourage that if you're away from school at any point, we have an SMS system that we communicate daily in relation to if your child's away um, or missed a session during the day. Um, we have an email system and we have the phone system. So the hardest thing with attendance is you lose the classroom teacher direct connection because of 12 and that's where the student engagement team comes in. And then part of the, the Connect communities as a school, we run a Connect community. Um, you have a, a P number as a parent, you log in and you can actually see the day-to-day -day attendance and explain the attendance through Connect as well. Um, the SMS system is possibly the easiest and just replying to SMS notifying where your child is and what's happening and we'll explain the absence.